All right. Awesome. So now that we've gone over that part, we need to get this microphone hooked up to the computer, of course, uh, and to get it all set up inside the computer. Uh, because if it's not set up inside the computer, what's the point? <laughs> uh, because this this microphone is uh, greatly going is going to greatly benefit from the software side of things, right? So to download the Elgato Wave Three software, which you should be doing if you're using this microphone, the software is the most powerful part. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the official Elgato website. So what you'll do is you go to your internet browser, type in Elgato. Wave 3 software, download, and do that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to land on the official Elgato.com downloads page. Don't click any other links here. Just go to the official Elgato page. Then you're going to select your product. Your product is going to be the Wave 3 in this case. And then you will select your platform. It's both available for Mac and Windows. And then as you can see below, um, it works on Wave 1, Wave 3, and Wave XLR. Go ahead and download the file, and once it completes downloading, which it should be fast, it's a relatively small download, then go ahead and click the download and begin installing the software. There it is. Now, you can just close the website at this point because you aren't going to need it. That part of the process is complete. Then, go through the setup. Have your lawyer review the terms of the agreement here and read every single word. <laughs> and agree to it. I recommend installing the software to your C drive, not an alternate drive, if you can, uh, especially if your C drives are solid state drives. Cool? Then go ahead and install the software. Here it goes. And it's just going to go through the standard install process along the way. Go ahead and allow if it asks for permission. And it's going to be copying over the new files. And it will be, as you can see, installing drivers on your computer as well. So if you were concerned about whether you had the drivers that you need uh, for this microphone, this is going to ensure that you have all the drivers you need all in one download package, which is great. And then there it is. And it's going to immediately put you into a Wavelink setup uh, tutorial. Now, this Nahimic thing may pop up. I don't know if you have that on your computer. Don't worry about that. So we're going to be welcome to Wave Link, as you can see here. Cool. cool. So then we'll click the Get Started button on here. And what it's going to do is help you select your different inputs and outputs that you're going to be using with this particular microphone. And so what you want to do before you go through this process is go into your system settings and your system sound and do a number of settings there first. You ready? So down here, if you're using Windows, what you're going to do is go to the bottom right hand corner of Windows, you're going to go to the little sound icon, you're going to right click, and then you're going to go to sound settings. The sound settings menu is going to pop up and it's going to look like something like this. Before you finish your Elgato Wavelink tutorial, I want to make sure that all your settings in your computer are set up properly. Here in sound settings, you're going to see a little section here called sound control panel. This is going to be your secret sauce to get your microphone set up properly and to get all your levels set properly before you use it in the Elgato Wavelink software. Trust me on this, guys. This is going to help you out immensely. Once you're here, as you can see, there's a million different devices that are now a part of your computer with the Elgato Wave 3. It has all these different playback devices and it has all of, just, just adds a ton of devices to your computer, right? The most important one that you want to select here is choosing how you're going to play back your audio. So if you're going to be playing back your audio through your headphones through the microphone, then you're going to select the headphones output right here in the software. And so have that be your default device. You would right click and then make it your default device and your default communication device. Okay. If you're going to be using a different device for your output, let's say you have a headset or headphones or speakers, you're going to want to make sure that that is set as your default device on your computer. And that's what I'm going to do. You right click it and then you click set as default device. It's really important to set that now before you go in the software side of things. Okay. Then click the recording tab. And so what you're going to do 
is you're gonna check out the microphone and you're gonna make sure everything is set up properly here with the mic. This mic in is your microphone, the Elgato Wave microphone. So right click on that, go to properties, and we're gonna double check a few settings here to make sure it's set up right. So I like uh, going to levels and going ahead and bumping this up to about 85 is about the sweet spot with this microphone. Go to enhancements and make sure that no enhancements are on right now, okay? Then go to advanced and make sure that studio quality audio is selected and uncheck exclusive mode. Do not allow any applications to take exclusive control of this device. It can mess up your microphone. Don't do that, hit apply. Cool? Once all of those settings are complete, then you can hit X and you can hit X and you're in good shape and you can go back to setting up your microphone through the Elgato Wave software. Those are the basic settings that you're gonna wanna do there, okay? Cool, so let's pull back up the Elgato Wave software. If you ever lose track of where it is, you can type in Wave and search for it and Wavelink is the name of the software right down here. So we're gonna open up the Wavelink software and here it is, it's gonna take us through the tutorial process. Now we're gonna click Get Started, so we can close this window if we want to. We're gonna click Get Started. And then now we're gonna select our monitor output. So this is where you're going to decide what you're going to listen to your audio through. So if you're plugging in your headphones into the back of the microphone, then you need to select that as your output. If you're going to be listening to your audio through your speakers, you need to select your speakers as the output. If you're going to be listening to it through some other device that you have plugged into your computer, select that here. The Elgato Wave Link software can push out the audio through any device on your computer that you want. It is a digital audio mixer and it allows you to push out the audio any way you want. Cool? Awesome. So what you're gonna do here on Monitor Mix is you're gonna go here to the local, it's called Local Output, and you're gonna select where you wanna pump the audio out to. For me, I'm going to I'm just going to um pump it out through let's say the headphone jack on the Elgato Wave 3. We're just going to do that for now. Cool? Then what you can do is you can listen to the audio and you can check out um you know if you were playing anything in the background, you could check it out and you could also select whether you want to listen to the monitor mix or not from this screen. Great. Next, once you select your output, then you're gonna hit next, okay? Then you can add channels to the microphone as you see fit. It's going to automatically add the microphone itself as a channel. And notice how as I'm talking, the levels are popping on that microphone and it's working, cool? We can add additional channels later and I'll show you how to do that, but you just wanna get the microphone working here right out the gate, okay? And as you can see, the jack right, the uh, I headphone icon has an X through it right here. If you click that, then you will double monitor your audio, okay? And so don't click that <laughs> because there's a monitor mix happening which allows you to monitor your audio normally, okay? So this is just something to be aware of. My clients have done this in the past and it will create a double echo, 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 echo effect. But one thing to note about this channel as you can see, it'll say, give you an icon for your microphone. It'll show you the levels that you have on the microphone. And then you can choose two different volume levels here. You can do what is the monitor mix here on the headphones. And then this is the playback or stream mix here with this broadcast icon. These two mixes are independently controllable using these volume knobs. So if you wanna change the, how much of your microphone you hear through your headphones, you adjust this volume knob on the headphone icon and then, or your speakers or whatever your monitor output is. And if you wanna change the volume that people hear in your stream or your recording, you're going to adjust this volume level right here, allowing you to independently control two different mixes at the same time. Cool, right? Yeah, I think it's awesome. So we're just gonna use that channel for now for the initial setup. Then if we wanna route in any applications and route in any audio into the Wavelink software, which is something that we want to do, we need to open our Windows Sound settings. Now, here is the part that may be confusing to you guys, but trust me, this is going to make a whole lot of sense in just a minute. 
So what you can do is just click the open window sound settings button, okay? And this is where you're going to be able to route in any audio from any applications that you have, and you can choose uh, how it comes in to uh, the Wavelink software. So let's say you wanted your system sound to come in to Wavelink software. What you're gonna do is you're gonna select uh, system, or sorry. Actually, we'll just go over that in a minute. Uh, so we're gonna route, <laughs> we're gonna route audio in in a minute. We, we won't do that right now. Uh, I'm gonna go through a whole tutorial on how to do that later. There you go, and the setup is complete. So we'll just cut that part out and just go straight into setup being complete. There you go. So now, as you can see, my audio is being routed into the stream mix here as you set up. And so whenever you're doing recording, people will be able to hear your microphone. Whenever you're streaming, they'll be able to hear your microphone through the Elgato Wave software. And if you wanted to put it into the monitor mix, you could also put it into the monitor mix as well. Uh, and how would you do that? We would uncheck um, the listening icon here on the monitor mix, or we're, sorry, we're listening to the monitor mix. And if we wanted to, instead, we could listen to the stream mix. Anyway, we'll go over all of that in a moment, but you can choose which one you're listening to by clicking these two buttons. You can either monitor the monitor mix or the stream mix. All of that's controllable here through the panel. And we're going to go over all of those details in just a moment. That is the initial setup with the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. And we'll get into more detail in just a minute because this software is incredibly powerful. Cool. So that's the initial setup of the microphone. 